This movie is a combination of a teen slasher, a time travel element, and a knife-wielding masked killer. It's a lazy movie, it really relies on exposition and takes its details for granted. The movie takes itself so seriously that the material feels unnecessarily dour, especially when it's not going through the routine motions of this kind of horror movie. The premise of this movie is quite interesting, unfortunately, it ends up really frustrating, because the movie doesn't actually explore and have some fun with it in any significant way. The movie feels off-kilter and unengaging, as it fails to function as either a scary teen slasher or a family-driven sci-fi. The time machine mechanics are poorly rendered, the mask-wearing killer is bland and indistinctive, and the logistics of the killer spree are unclear. The script also dedicates a lot of time to exploring a potential butterfly effect paradox, which feels like a tired cliché. It carries the vibe of a scrapped made-for-TV movie, struggling with its identity. The movie hesitates to really be a horror movie, and also unwilling to deal with its time travel conceit, since the rules seem to be made up as they go. As the horror and time travel stuff really does seem a secondary concern here, the whole movie winds up existing in a realm of untapped potential. The movie doesn't seem to be interested in embracing the thrills of the teen slasher subgenre. There are a few kills revolving around the masked killer murdering the victims such as the one that takes place in a mall, but it's more like an afterthought. Even the kills themselves are disappointingly tame while lacking the necessary palpable tension. Zero creativity is applied toward the small handful of genuine kills, most of which are squeamishly photographed to avoid showing much of anything. Even in the final death of the villain, who goes out in a way so understated, is dull and thoughtless that it feels like the actual death scene has somehow been cut for time. The movie fails to build any tension, and only aspires to the bare minimum of function, lacking the ambition for fun or creativity required to stand out in either genre. The stakes are low, while the introduction of the masked killer is nothing more than a cipher. A placeholder and an excuse to fill in the movie with some slasher moments, except that everything is executed in a surface-level blandness. This, in turn, makes the should-have-been lean 90-minute length surprisingly a chore to sit through. The movie also incorporates the time travel element, but again, the movie seems to be showing a lack of interest in exploring more on the sci-fi angle. The details of the case and the mechanics of the time machine are breezed through in clunky exposition and technobabble, neither have any real bearing on the story. There's some decent chemistry between the sisters, Lucy has a complicated relationship to this traumatic event as she's having been raised in its shadow. She's eager to finally meet the sister she's only lived with as a ghost. With the nature of time travel unclear, Lucy is concerned about how intervening in the killings will change the future, and Summer's murder is by far the most troubling, as it's connected to her own existence. These dynamics are decent, and they give stretches of this movie a bit weight. This might have been able to make for an intriguing time travel dramedy all on its own. These are at least potential paradoxes that are fun to momentarily consider. The characters and themes could have become very rich and much more interesting as well. Unfortunately, the overall story and the movie's inept direction fail to elevate their characters and dynamics further. Overall, the movie plays its story mostly straight and totally wastes both its slasher and time travel elements. Creativity is really missing here, and nothing works without it. It's not worth to spend time to watch this, we do not recommend this movie at all.